copyright restrictions. You can get it using game footage, listening to a wrong song, watching the wrong show, playing the wrong anime. Look, look. I'm not just gonna go start repeating and ranting about the same sentence until you guys click on my next video. So let's get started. There are three topics for copyright that we're gonna go over. Gaming, music, and shows. Copyright is easiest on gaming videos mainly because all you really have to do is go to the developer or publisher's website and see what their laws are on gaming content usage. Some of the laws are gonna say, oh, we're going to take a percentage from each video you post using our content. And some just let you use it for free. And others won't actually even let you use it. Now, even among that list, there are even more specific laws and terms you may have to agree to, like being able to use it, but not no, being able God, to monetize please, no, it, no, and possibly not being no. able to use any other sponsors. No. Next is music. I'm gonna be honest, you can't really use mainstream songs. Like, you wanna use Drake? You can't use Drake. Drake could've gave you permission. He could've been like, yo, bro, you can use this song. Said it in word. His label didn't tell you that. His producer didn't tell you that. His mama didn't tell you. But there's a great alternative. You can use type. Type beats are instrumentals that have been catered to a specific artist. Most of these instrumentals are rap beats, but there are some Afro beats, some Caribbean beats, Calypso beats, and even some Spanish music. Most of the time, you could just ask the artist or the producer who made that if you could use their beat if you want to do it on a more serious note like rapping or something. Sometimes, you could use it, and it most likely won't have copyright. Don't tell anyone I told you this, though. But if you really want to use copyrighted music, if you turn up the bass correctly, you might be able to play it for a few seconds and miss the copyright. But I also didn't tell you this either. Now the last topic, shows. Copyright with shows in anime is similar to copyright with gaming. Mainly because you have to go on a website of a person who made the content. And usually it would have the content's usage laws right there. You wouldn't go to a specific person, you could really just go to the website too. And truthfully and honestly, if you can't even find it there, you could sometimes email them and hopefully they'll respond you back. But honestly, if they don't get back to you, you might as well just not use it if it's really copyrighted. Now, most of the things that I said was basically all encompassing. But there are different levels to copyright and then copyright strikes and stuff <laughs> like that. That can happen on each level. Gaming, instrumentals, shows, and even sound effects. And to take it a step further, if you get copyright striked, just private the video, bro. But the most important thing that you have to take away from all of this, none of this matters if you aren't monetized. I was on that block on my lonely, I did it all on my own, I don't need help Spinning and blocking a holy, a lot of shit that I know I would never tell These niggas claiming they know me, but it's some lands, what's your name, it don't ring a bell Missing my dog, I'm going through so much pain, but I'm still here, raising hell I'm with a gang, I'm with a squad, I'm with the mob We let it bang, don't care where you from